You've written the perfect theme for your new masterpiece. Now what? That's 50% of the way to a great piece. But how do you develop your ideas? Now you can't just have the theme go over and over again. You're not some minimalist composer, are you? No insult to the minimalist composers out there. So in this video I'm going to talk about different ways to transform musical material and to develop those ideas. Um, one of my composition teachers said to me, a beginning composer throws everything, including the kitchen sink, into their compositions, so uh, dozens of ideas, whereas the more experienced composer uses less material but develops that material more thoroughly. So three days ago I finished the first movement to my new violin sonata, and this is the theme I came up with. So one of the most basic things is, of course, transposition. So I move that, which was introduced in the piano, and have the violin play it down an octave. Things you can also do are highlighting. So if you have the theme, uh, say the first part of the theme play, and it echoes the thematic idea in a different octave or a different instrument. You can of course truncate the theme as well, which would be uh, to maybe only state parts of it. Just use pieces of it, hints of it later on. Uh, it can then, of course, be transposed. Now, it started out uh, a semitone down, uh, but there were some little changes later on in the theme where the second half of the theme went down yet another whole tone. And then there's augmenting the theme, which is to take the rhythm and make it uh, twice as long. So in this case, this theme it starts off with eighth notes. Uh, later on, I restate the theme in quarter notes. It sounds like this. altered. Retrograde would be to take the theme and play it backwards, um, something you certainly see in counterpoint, counterpuntal technique. So simply start from the end and go backwards. is another technique, which is to cut the values in half, make it twice, in essence, the theme goes twice as fast. That's another one. Um, by altering the notes, um, if you're in a major key, you can switch into the minor, known as modal mixture. That's a common one, too. Um, this one is kind of a modally mixed theme, but with some alterations in it. And here's one that's heavily augmented. Uh, so as originally the theme was uh, in eighth notes, this time it's in half notes. And
another thing you can do with your themes if you have multiple instruments, multiple instruments is to have that theme uh, stated and as a conversation between the different instruments. So you might have the violin play the theme first, then it goes to the piano, and then it goes to the flute or the voice. And that provides integration uh, to the different instruments with your theme. Um, you can even break up the theme with rests. or omission from the theme. Omitting certain notes of the theme or addition where you're adding notes. you could move it into the left hand of the piano, really down low. Or double it up in, the, in, in octaves. I don't do all these in my piece, um, whatever I'm so inclined to do. Uh, but again, these are ways of, of flushing out uh, an idea and the more uh, experience you get the more and the more creative you get the more mileage you can get out of a particular theme uh, in another video I'll talk about uh, how to write an effective theme um, one other thing I haven't talked about of course is inversion something uh, you see in retrograde inversion which is common in 12-tone uh, music but it can also inversion can be applied to a traditional theme as well which is inversion is where the intervals go uh, in the opposite so you invert all the intervals so in this case it goes up a major second and we go down if you want to invert your intervals just a few ideas have fun uh, experiment and uh, keep writing music